Hello fellow Vikings, welcome back to a brand new series, brand new episode and a special one where I'm gonna show you what happened behind the scenes in my base construction. I've been doing this for 14 hours of gameplay, so it would have been really not really practical to show it all on a camera. So I'm gonna show you beats and pieces of the actual action that happened. And uh, basically, this is the episode, the new episode, the special one. And here we are. So we started by flattening this very large area and getting it ready for the build. It's a ginormous area, actually. Next, I set the boundaries of this, actually, patch of land. <laughs> So I can uh, see where uh, where I'm going and what I'm flattening, actually. And I started flattening, taking chunks. And I've actually split this in four chunks. So it would be easier for me to, um, I don't know, navigate and uh, actually flatten it all together. But yeah, I really wanted to get a super flat area. Those were the last two chunks, and this is the third one that I'm working on right now. It's a very tedious work. I'm in already for two and a half hours, I think. And I really got tired of flattening the dirt. This is the last chunk, the fourth chunk. This took me another one hour to flatten, just because it was a bit higher here, some sort of a hill area. So yeah, it kind of took me a lot of time and I, I need, really needed a break after all this. <laughs> and I took a break for two hours because my mind was actually really fried by all this uh, dirt and flattening. Over here I tried to raise the walls and see how this is going. And it went pretty well. And then here in this section, actually, I managed to build the first walls. My orientation was a bit off, so I had to change the orientation of the walls. But overall, uh, yeah, this is how the walls have been going. I had to mine a lot of stone. There are no stones nearby this location. Also had to get rid of the wood around the base because some of it was in the way actually and at the same time we got a lot of wood because we kind of needed to, to farm a lot of wood for the base. On top of the walls I tried to flatten them so I wanted to get them at the same level because I wanted to build on top of the walls. And this is how the final work looks like. Then I started working on the ditch on, around the base. This is halfway through with the work, just using the hoe and the pickaxe to flatten the ground and get a nice ditch filled with water. This is more for aesthetic purposes than anything else. And this is the actual work being finished. Took me around two hours. So yeah, a lot of hard work went into this, as you can see. And as you can tell, if you've done something like this yourselves. Up here on the walls, I tried to place some wooden flooring. Just to make sure that I can stay on top of them and shoot enemies from on top of the walls, if needed. So I went with a wooden flooring on top of the walls all the way around the uh, base and wall structure. Then I actually extended the wooden platform because, hey, I realized I might fall off of that. So we needed a larger one. This is how the gate looks like. 
and I've placed some normal doors there so I can prevent monsters from coming onto the bridge and into the base. Then I started raising the, actually placing the log, uh, the core wood, the logs so I can uh, start working on the roof because I didn't want rain to destroy my uh, wooden floor. Over here I started, I actually I'm halfway with the roof. Started the second half of the roof placing. Just to have it protected so we can feel cozy, so it kind of looks like a medieval castle at this point. And here we are on top of the structure. We can now look at the base and see, oh, oh, I'm, I'm sliding. <laughs> and actually look and see how it's going. This is how it looks, this is the final uh, result. And I actually tried to get in here, but I couldn't fit really through the gap. Just because I didn't time my jumping right. I've also placed some torches for light and to get a bit of coziness in here. Next I started working on the docks, where we're gonna have our boat. Nothing fancy, just the normal docks, with a bit of a um, place for the workbench and for the cart, so you can haul over your goods once you get them home with the boat. And here's how the final result looks like. Like I said, nothing fancy, just functional. Have our workbench there, yeah, the place for the boat. This is how many logs I actually farm, and these are the ones that are outside, actually. I've got a lot of them in the chests, in those chests that you could see there. So we started actually working on the floor of the house. I'm gonna build a very large house, it's an 8x8 with an extension of 4x8 at the end for the kitchen and the bedroom. So yeah, as you can see here, we're gonna go all the way through with the flooring. I didn't want to live in a small house anymore, so we went big. This is the structure for the actual base, using uh, core wood. And this is how it looks. Now I started working on the walls, but obviously this is not the final result and just trying things here just to see how they look. For the actual windows inside, I went for the same symbol and the type of windows like the one on top of the gates. And this is how it looks from above. You can see the working area and the kitchen and the bedroom. This is the base with the roof. And here we are on top of the bedroom and now going into the working area. Here we are in the trophy room. I'm gonna intend to build a trophy room in here, actually. And this is what I've been doing outside. I've been farming a lot of wood, getting the arrows ready so I can raise my bow skill. You're gonna need a ton of arrows for this strategy. So make sure you find a burial chamber with a spawner and then stay right here near the entrance by this rock and start spamming arrows, normal arrows on the skeletons, but shoot fast. Don't let the circle uh, get narrow so you don't deal that much damage, you just need the experience. Four hours later, I've been really tired. We managed to raise the bow skills to level 90, but yeah, this kind of took me like four hours, so I'm not sure it was worth it. <laughs> 